Welcome back guys. We are currently on our way out to the farm. Truly, I've just been waiting to come here all week long. The weather has been gorgeous. And last time we were here, we had actually noticed that the front bush is actually a massive blackberry bush that I just could not wait to come back and pick. Hopefully a basket full of blackberries. So that's exactly what we're doing today as well as just dreaming some more. Well, I came over here to show you guys this cute little turtle, but he said not today and dove into the water. So here's kind of just the edge of our pond line. We need at some point to figure out the depth of this pond. So we truly have no idea. This looks like it might be like a foot over here, which is obvious or probably makes sense just because this goes into this little gully valley over here. But we have so many things to figure out, but it's honestly the best part about this. It's a continuous adventure for the rest of our lives, and I love it. So I'm currently in the very backhand right section of our property and I think this might be the perfect spot for an orchard. We'll see. Can you guys even see how that dips right there? So we are currently on the back hill that we would put our barnuminium on. If you can see that dot where Sam is, that will probably be where the dream house one day goes. Probably quite a ways down the line, honestly, like at least, I don't know, if something amazing happens, five years, realistically, probably something like 10. But we'll see. You never know what could happen. We got big dreams. downward to the fence could be like our largest pasture like from where you're standing yeah and all the way down the fence so a mirror for both sides for sheep and horses and we do on the other side as well but on the other side would be where the shelters would be for them i would say and then wherever's left they can graze over and stuff but this would be their primary Raising. Well, they would have to have shelters on both sides, technically, unless you're going to go move them anytime yeah. there's bad weather. We just move them. Okay. But that's my thoughts. Do you see all those? And look, it continues all the way down, pretty much to that post right there. There is truly something so incredibly peaceful and honestly refreshing about doing something as mundane as picking blackberries. Truly, there was probably enough blackberries for me to have picked for hours. And honestly, I wish I could have. I love it so much. I hope this thicket continues to produce blackberries for many years to come. Obviously, I intend to plant so much more fruit and hopefully a full-blown orchard on our property, but it's amazing just to see how much our property is already providing.
Come on, let's see. We gotta get your family, my family, anyone and everyone out here that likes black bears. <laughs> Look at this. I know. Look at that basket. Granted, if you're gonna make like a pie, you're gonna need a heck of a lot more than I've picked so far. I had to make a quick stop on over to the land just to get some information for the driveway, so of course I made a little stop out of it. Alright, so drive woo. Come on. Driveway will run all the way back through there. There's the valley where our main house will sit one day. And I'm currently on where the Barnuminium will go, and I think that's the park test site right there. Yeah, so park test is here. Ponds right there. We have a valley and a valley, and then it goes up onto their hill. Their park type park site, I think, is that little dark patch right there, or close to it. So, just a rough idea. Oh, Kellyanne's back. Hi. Little rug rat. Okay, so to help everybody out, I'm going to try to film how the land is. Ditch, ditch, their house, pond, perk site test over there. This is the boundary line of their fence. Dude, could you just go away? And then we're just gonna walk. All the way over here just to see what it's looking like at least for me and you sam so honestly this section's relatively flat like that shouldn't be a concern It has been over three weeks since I've talked to you guys like on the camera, which is insane. Last time I spoke with you guys, and that was kind of hit or miss, was the Iceland and Norway cruise travel log series. But as you can tell, I'm currently at the land. We just had a discussion with the person that's going to possibly do our culvert in the driveway. Yes, if I look disgusting, it's because it just bucketed down rain after being completely sunny out of nowhere. So. Your girl is drenched, unfortunately, but it's fine. Went ahead and picked some blackberries. I'm already soaked. I'll show you how much we got when I get back to the car, because the car is just a little bitty dot over there. And we have also somehow acquired a farm dog from one of the neighbors. And I don't even know what to call him. I've been calling him Buddy or Butthead. Butthead because I looked over and this dog had eaten probably half of the blackberries that I picked. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I don't even know who you are, what your name is, nothing. Y'all see? Whoa, there he is. That little thing. Yeah, you. Get down. He's cute. I'll give him that. But he's not my farm buddy for now. Anyways, we met with the person to get 
hopefully a quote here soon on the culvert and the driveway. Obviously, everything construction related is insanely expensive right now, so we're going to be doing everything in stages and to the best of our abilities in the coming months, coming weeks, coming years, because this will be a lifelong project and we probably won't be on this property till probably about two years from now, so we got a while, but hopefully we can figure out a way to be out here in a year, year and a half is kind of my ideal timeline. Again, we'll just have to see, but that's it for now. I need to get going because it looks like these storm clouds are going to come in and it's definitely raining over our neighbor's property and I don't want to get caught in another rainstorm, so let's go. Here's the ditch that I'm talking about because this guy is concerned that the water runoff is going to come straight through there and feed into the creek. So the plan is, is to come up probably up through here between that ditch and this fence post go all the way up until we get past where this runoff is and then follow the property line all the way back to the homes. That's the plan, I think. I hope. Also to show you what that section of the creek looks like, it currently looks like this. I would say it's about eight feet wide. There's that marshy section and then there it goes up and onwards. Oh, it's espresso. Yes. Farm fresh peaches, an amazing cold brew, and honestly one of the most beautiful parks in Kentucky in my opinion. We are currently heading on over to a lovely little evening bonfire, and honestly, as someone that has to work weekends as a healthcare worker, it is so nice to just have a nice little way to relax after having to work on the weekend. Even though I can't complain that much, I was working from home, so I know that I am very spoiled in that matter. But anyways, we're heading over to Bonfire with friends and I could not be more happy. Okay, we should come up with a name for him that we actually like. What? He's gonna be over here all the time until we know his name. Roscoe. Here we go. Come on, Roscoe. All right, guys, we are back out on the land today. We just got another well, eventual quote for a culvert and driveway and stuff. But for now, we're just on the land getting some soil cores or soil samples done so I can hopefully see where things can and should go on this property, see what things are looking like drainage-wise, nutrient-wise, but it's been a great day. We had an awesome time last night at our friend's bonfire. And then today, Right after this, we are going to same soccer game and then going out to dinner at some vegan restaurant that his friends want to go to, well, our friends want to go to. So I'll take you guys along for as much of the fun as possible. And I am out of breath. I really should work out more. If I wasn't working, I would be playing the soccer game with them. I did play last week. And surprisingly, I wasn't as out of shape as I thought, but I'm still very much out of shape cardio-wise. All right, bye guys. Also, I just wanted to come show you guys this because I was just out here yesterday. None of these were this big. Like they were, well no, I was here two days ago. They were itty bitty, but these are like actually edible size. Not to mention, kind of say I'm so happy that I found out that we have a blackberry bush this is running our entire fence line. How awesome is that? Oh, we got, yeah, get us some ranch. Get them a couple of food. Yeah, they can 
Mama and a true, oh boy. It looks like a pizza. Oh, all the insides. That's amazing. Well, should have made the sides bigger. Good try. All right, so apparently my crimping skills are not very good because the crimp there broke, the crimp there broke, that one broke. And so like, it was just a mess. It looks delicious. However, it does not look anything like hers. So I guess we will just try again. <laughs> Another time.